Bill Schwab, WineBuys.com here, and I'm here with Jennifer DeRitter and her new Spanish line, and we're looking at the reverse six next. We just did the squared three, and the reverse six is 75% Tempranillo, 25% Merlot, in a unique area, and I can never pronounce this quite right, Ribera de Quileres, Quileres and it's uh, a northern spot, a little bit inland, uh, Rioja here, it's right up here, and it's a cool region. By cool, I mean, hey, cool, the Fonzie cool, <laughs> and also temperature cool. So you don't get the fiery, hot fruit wines that you get in some places in Spain. What you do is you get a lot of complexity, a lot of depth of character. And these are just small, small mm. um, production. The vines are very old, between 16 and 100 year old. So um, going to not yield a lot of fruit, but the fruit that they do get is going to be, you know, delicious and just very um, mm. robust. But I think this comes from very old Tempranillo vines. Mm -hmm. 100. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Very, very old Tempranillo vines. You can really tell you the concentration of fruit. Big, plummy, rich red fruits wrapped around your tongue. Um, nice little drying tannins on the cheeks, but but not too aggressive. Extremely tasty. I'm very, very happy with this, and very happy to be selling it at about the thirty dollar range. More importantly, because you this should not pack it with the toothbrush because <laughs> yeah, I mean this will this will stick if, stick yeah, with the teeth really, there. Really um, Almost out of the realm of food wine. I mean, I would like to just drink this by itself. It's a meal in and of itself. Yep. Big, hedonistic. Uh, this is what the, the that, that hot level of Spanish wines mm -hmm. coming out of uh, uh, Spain right now are those, those Parker 95, 96, uh, 99 point wines are all about. Big, big fruit. I don't, I don't think there's enough production for me even to rate this or even to get the sample yeah, of it. It's just too small production. You'll probably never see it in your, your wine advocate, but um, that's all right. I'm here for you. <laughs> and they, they're, none of them are, are filtered or fine, so there's a lot of sediment. You might need to decant these, but it's um, yeah. not something you need to worry about when you look at the corks. That's exactly the God way God wouldn't drink be. filtered <laughs> wine, he wouldn't give you a liver. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I look at that and I go, yay. <laughs> well, if you filter wine, you, take, you rob a little bit of the soul sure, of the wine. For sure. We can't have that. Just delicious. Uh, a, 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 a full bodied, a well endowed wine without being buxom. It's not over the top, mm -hmm. it's not uh, unbalanced. Really rich, really it's a nice beautiful. Alternative stuff. to Cab, you know? Just like a cab. Well, a great alternative to, let's say, Napa Valley, uh, uh, Howl Mountain Cab, those bigger, more aggressive Napa right. Valley cabs. Uh, Great alternative, especially for the money. For well, 30 yeah, bucks. In a bargain basement. Yes. Compared to those. <laughs> yeah, definitely compared to those. Jennifer, thanks for bringing it by. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you.